With the arrival of the new 8 amp hour power stack, it's time for us to go through some testing to figure out what battery is going to be the best for your use and give you some numbers behind the voltage drop on each of them. We're going to use the DCF 860 and we're going to connect up to a bolt that's not going to be able to be moved by this impact wrench or impact driver. We're going to go in reverse because torque test channel found out that this made the most power in reverse unlike what an impact driver should do. And it's also had a higher impacts per minute in reverse. So that seems like where the power is going to be able to be sucked out of these batteries a little bit more and we'll be able to possibly see more voltage drop. Now, why the 860? This is simple because we can connect up to something and there's no variation. There's no variables, no faster pushing of a saw and we can give this 10 seconds to go at it. I also want to check and see Torque Test Channel said their 5 amp hour only let this run for about 8 seconds. So I'd like to see if the 8 amp hour power stack is going to do the same. We do have the 6 amp hour battery in here that is currently on the charger. So we'll put that in the mix, go top to bottom. Let's get after it. We're going to start out here with the power stack 1.7 amp hour battery. This is the tiny one. We're showing 20.57 volts. Just sitting at rest, 20.58. If we just, we can get it to go down in the 19s. Not bad at all. When we looked at the Milwaukee Stubby, that would drop that two plus volts. We are again in reverse. We are on level three. Let's see what it does. Well, it's safe to say TTC is not using Milwaukee bits. So, this broke pretty easy. Good news here is this is sticking out. So if it won't come out, well, which it did. So no big deal. We can find something else and try again. With the new adapter, we now are going to 3 8 3 8 to a half. And here we go. We are actually going to move to forward on this just to try to save bits. Seems to make sense. And we'll see if we can get through. So we are at 20.39 at this point in time. Let's try to go for 10 seconds. Seventeen point two six. Now that's really interesting to me because if we go in reverse with this same battery for that period of time, we were in the sixteens. So I'm going to let that come up. We're going to start a little lower here, but let's just see what happens and see what we get down to. And there we go again, broken. Um, hopefully this guy comes out does no issue. We were in the 16s, so there is a significant difference between forward and reverse on this tool. This is your standard 2 amp hour battery, which you would kind of expect would be something you would put on a smaller tool like this. Sake of the test, we're going in forward. 20.3 volts to start. Thirteen point two five four amp hour compact battery starting at twenty point five five. Sixteen point seven seven. This is an oil resistant 5 amp hour battery. It's going to be the same as the other 5 amp hour batteries that are out there in the XR models. 20.66 is a starting voltage. 17.84. Here's the 5 amp hour power stack and we're in forward. This one TTC couldn't get to go for 10 seconds full. Let's just see what happens here. 20.66 to start with. 18.75 and we did get the full run in forward though. Here's your standard 6 amp hour XR. We are starting out at 20.62. 
tool shut off on me. 18.94 is last I seen. I bested the power stack. The eight amp hour XR power stack starting out at 20.68. Nineteen point three two. We're a little bit in the unrealistic area with a nine amp hour flex volt. We're starting at twenty point six nine. Nineteen point four nine. Twelve amp hour flex volt starting at 20.74. Since we made it through the test, I'm going back to the PowerSec 8 amp hour battery. We are going to go in reverse where all the power is at. We're probably going to snap this Milwaukee that's here, but we're going to see what we get down to. 19.32 was where this 8 amp hour landed last time. Let's see how deep we get into it before it breaks. and it turned itself off on its own. It didn't break, but it definitely got deeper than 19.32. So that tells me that the programming for this tool is letting it get more power or taking more power away from the battery in reverse than it's allowing it to do in forward, which makes absolutely no sense. So people talk about the Milwaukee's getting hot, and yes, this was a lot to go through, but whew, look at that, absolutely insane when it comes to heat with the most heat coming right up at the forward section. I'll tell you that is hard to touch. It is saying that we're at 166 degrees up there. Absolutely crazy. Here's some of my notes from the start of this. I had a few that I forgot like the 6.0 amp hour battery. Where did it start? But you can see the power stack did awesome right up until the 5.0 amp hour bested it. Then we do the PowerStack 5.0, which was awesome, but I'm surprised that the 6 amp hour bested it in this test. PowerStack 8 was much better than the PowerStack 5, but the FlexVolt 9 amp hour bested it, and the 9 amp hour bested our FlexVolt 12 amp hour. So it's interesting to go down this list and take a look at where everything lands. Now all these numbers are based off this 860 in its lower power state. We proved right off the bat that reverse was where this thing had the power at and it makes me interested. More and more, I'd like to dive into this with a little bit larger tool and do the same type of analysis and see where the gaps get larger. But it surprises me that the six amp hour battery bested the five amp hour power stack. Now the eight amp hour power stack really just did wonders as far as how it came out in the 20 volt world. Although we could go up to larger batteries in the 20 volt sector, it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to put those on this specific tool or anything that's smaller. As far as power output, obviously the PowerStack 8 amp hour is going to give you the most power, probably going to do that in its reverse even more so, which to me is very interesting. I think putting a flex volt on some of this stuff, especially these small tools, just isn't worth it. But you have 200 foot pounds in reverse. That's going to be awesome for someone who wants to use this tool for lug nuts. And I'm very surprised that the amount of people that come out and say, I love my impact driver for lug nuts. And if you want to use this, I think that you're going to find this PowerStack 8 amp battery is going to be one of your best batteries to pick up with the 6 amp hour falling just behind it. And as you go down the line now, 1.7 is so small yet so powerful compared to the rest. And I think this is where a lot of this stacked bat battery cells or pouched battery cells come into play. Small, powerful, easy to use overhead. Look at the size of this thing, even though this is kind of chunky.
Either way you look at it. Very interested in your comments. Please leave them below. I appreciate your time, guys. Have a great day.